Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is apply some moisturiser. This is MAC strobe cream. Apply it with my hands. Foundation, applying it from the centre of the face and working out. And just mainly, if you just turn your head for me, Mandy only really needs the coverage just in the centre of the face because the forehead and all the other areas are quite clear, but there's just redness here. So we're starting here and then blending out. And you can see I'm going over the eyelids as well using MAC Fard Cream Foundation. Well, it's wax based actually. Going to take the same palette, but just on a brush. If you just look up for me, just going to apply a tiny bit on the inside corner here where it's dark, and the same on the other side, and then blend it with the finger. And just take it up just below the lash line if it's dark, and then just blend it in. Just going to apply a tiny bit of lip balm to the lips while we're at it. Then by the time we finish the face, They'll be ready. Using a finishing powder and a blusher brush, I'm just going to apply a tiny bit, if you close your eyes, across the eyelids. Make sure there's no creasing from the foundation because I want to leave the bulk of the face pretty much unpowdered. So I'm powdering the T zone area down the bridge of the nose and where the concealer is, you just look up. And this has got light reflecting qualities, so we like it. Blusher next, two shades of blusher, deep throat and orgasm, just gonna blend the two together. And I'm actually gonna apply it on the apple of the cheek smile. Oh. And I'm just gonna apply it here. Makes a change from applying it really high up. If you just turn your head slightly, and bear in mind I'm applying this on, this is on non-powdered skin because I want the rest of the face to, you know, show more skin than powder. And other side. Smile. Oh. Taking some bronzer and a fan brush and I'm just going to apply it on the outside part of the forehead. So just on the temples. And I'm going to take it underneath the cheekbones, ever so slightly, starting really high up and on the jawline. I'm going to add just a touch more finishing powder. This is Hourglass and it's Radiant Light. And I'm just going to apply it where I put the bronzer, but just on the kind of forehead area. So I want to keep the under the jawline area more matte, but I want this bit to be a little bit more kind of radiant. Okay, so I filled in this eyebrow already. I've just gone through it. You can see the difference between the two eyebrows where this area here looks quite sparse and this one doesn't. So we're going to fill them in. <clears throat> Brow pencil, just going to feather it through and always start at the beginning of the brow. And we're going to start with the hair growth and then go against the hair growth if you want more colour on the skin. And if you don't have an arch, if you look here, Manny doesn't really have what a lot of people call an arch, it doesn't matter. Follow exactly where the hair grows rather than trying to draw in an exaggerated arch if you don't have one. And really on this part here, at the kind of end of the brow, I'm actually just drawing in on the skin because there's not a lot of hair here. So if you haven't got a lot of hair, you really, really don't want to go over it with an eyebrow gel because you just pull it all off. Okay, lips. Standard lip pencil in medium by Kevin Acquire. Gonna follow the natural line of the lip 
And I'm going to mention the other side in a second. Don't fill in the lip just yet. Just go with whatever's there. And on the other side of the lip, you just tilt your chin down, thank you. This lip is slightly, just a tiny bit unbalanced. So we're going to overdraw ever so slightly on the outside edge just to marry them up. So I'm going to start with this side where I started. Just connect the kind of bottom two to the top. And then, oh well done. I'm just going to go with the lip to begin with. And then just go up over the lip line just a wee bit just to connect them okay so just open a tiny bit I'm just going to fill in the outside corners which I always do well on Mandy right here and right here and then I'm going to take a white concealer but you can use if you're dark skinned you'll use a yellow but I'm going to take the white just a little bit open slightly just going to pat that onto the center of the bottom lip just press together lightly and then we're going to go over that with gloss and it will give a really nice effect so using NARS Sandpiper I'm just going to start in the center and then work my way out. It just highlights the middle bit of the lip. Oh, cheers, man. Shh. Press lightly. Okay, gonna curl the lashes next. So if you just look down, you wanna take the lash curler into the root of the lash and squeeze any skin keep it here especially with short lashes for a while longer and then walk it up the base of the lash and then release and open and if it's still not curled enough we'll repeat it again okay mascara if you just look down I'm going to keep my thumb kind of here and you just want to now work the lashes as best you can open and I'm just going to pull the lid so I can get to the inner corner you keep going over the lashes as many times as you need to to get them as black as you can open okay so I'm just going to put if you just look right over there I'm just going to put some shimmer just on the tear duct and open and that will instantly make the eyes look brighter than they were without if you just look over there you just want to apply it to the tear duct area around the tear duct because it's just pretty open and that will instantly make the eyes stand out without loads of eyeshadow. So let me zoom out. So you can just see with the dark lashes and just the inner inner corner done. Look down. It's just it's just pretty. You don't need loads and loads of eyeshadow to make the eyes look nice. Are you lifting one eyebrow up? There we go. Look up. Just going to apply a tiny bit of mascara to the lower lashes. Normal. We're just going to finish off the look with just a last sweep of finishing powder on the outside. And that will complete the look. Turn your face left, left to right. And again, and again, keep going. And again. And that's it, look forward.